Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Pocophone F1 and today we are talking about the mighty Pixel Experience Plus ROM. Now, Pixel Experience Plus and Pixel Experience Normal. There are two versions. We have installed the Plus variant. We also did a gaming live stream. So, if your only question is how does it perform in BGMI, you can go ahead and check that live stream in our live stream section. But before we get into the initial impressions of this amazing ROM, if you haven't already, please subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell icon so that you don't miss any notifications from us. Also, in the description, we have a link to our Telegram community where we are more than a thousand members. You can get all the help you need over there because every time somebody or the other is there willing to help you. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, Pixel Experience Plus for the Pocophone F1. This is the latest update. So let's first go to settings over here. Let's increase the brightness a little bit. Let's go to settings. Let's go to about and let's go to the Android version 11. Now what you see over here is it does come with the June security patch and if you talk about the kernel, it is coming with an updated kernel called Etude kernel. So I think this should perform better and we saw that in the live stream. It's not an amazing performer, but it gives you a good balance between battery life and gaming performance. So if you're a casual user who likes Pixel Experience Plus on your Pocophone F1 and you do play high-end games sometimes, it's completely fine to be with this particular ROM. So not only the security patch has been updated, there are a few fixes under the hood as well. There is nothing much which I can show you in the UI, but I can tell you that the ROM feels a little more smooth, a little more fluid as you can see over here. Over a period of time in the last two to three months, ROMs for the Pocophone F1 have been getting pretty, pretty good in terms of performance and stability. It does come with your standard pixel launcher and as you can see the animations are pretty pretty smooth and fluid as well even the app opening and app closing animations are absolutely fantastic now to the left you do have google discover and if you press and hold over here you can actually go to styles and wallpapers where you will find you have live wallpapers and your pixel drop june wallpapers as well if you swipe from the top to bottom you have your usual notification tiles where you have your usual set of things but the interesting part over here is the screen recorder because a lot of people have been using it now you do have internal and external audio support and if you start the screen recording you will get a red colored notification over here there you go and even after the screen recorder has started there is no stutter or jitter so i think you can expect being able to record gameplay on this particular rom now we can go ahead and stop the recording over here you have a normal widget which gives you a snapshot of your weather and stuff now moving on in settings this is pixel experience this is no havoc os this is no evolution x or anything of that sort now the interesting part is in security this does come with face unlock which supports the ir camera and it works like a charm even in the darkest of areas now if you go to app locker you do have app lock which supports face unlock as well right so for example if you go ahead and lock the camera application over here open camera use face so you can use the ir face unlock you can use pin or pattern and you can use your fingerprint scanner as well now the good part about this is that it comes with google camera go now i have been saying this off lately on almost all of my roms previews or reviews because i like the google camera go application it doesn't put the developers in any trouble it has portrait mode the quality or the clarity of the camera is more than acceptable so you know it gives you a perfect balance of the custom rom and the thing that i like about pixel experience is once you've applied those pixel wallpapers this phone in this form factor and in this shape it looks really really beautiful really really amazing so moving on what else do we have over here one good thing to notice over here is safety net will pass out of the box so you don't need to you know get into the hassle of flashing magisk and doing this or this module that module you don't really need to worry about that in photos in google photos you have your standard affair you have 
portrait light which is working absolutely fine for human faces so that is nothing to worry about if you go to the play store and if you go to play store settings over here you will see that the device is certified so not only safety net is fine device is certified that also means that the banking needs are taken care of now the main question that everyone would ask me if you're a poco f1 user does widewine l1 work well in Pam in amazon prime hd you cannot play hd content in hd so that is not there but i can tell you that hey google works with screen on and screen off the charging works absolutely fine offline charging works the battery backup is pretty decent although i have to tell you that yesterday when i was streaming with this particular rom the battery discharged very very rapidly that might be a one off case but you might want to use this rom and let me know in the comment section so if you actually go to the battery option over here you do have the optimization profile and that is something i like the only option you have over here is games right and over here you don't have any further settings so because this is pixel experience you don't really have the detailed gaming mode or the detailed customization because this is a rom you know targeted towards people who like simplicity so if you go to system you do have gestures over here in which you can go to you know system navigation there you go quickly open camera system navigation is gesture navigation or two button navigation or three button navigation you have power menu gestures swipe to screenshot as you can have a look three finger screenshot works right and if you go to the recent menu you do have select working like a boss absolutely fine and you have select screenshot option over here as well moving on if you go to all the way to the left you do have the clear all option so the gestures are there slight bit of customization is also there and the whole ui is very very cohesive and smooth moving on if you go to system you have buttons in which you can change the customization options for quite a lot of things you can reorient the volume buttons and stuff like that and in status bar you have some customization as well so that is the beauty about pixel experience that it not only gives you simplicity stability and smoothness it also gives you some gaming performance some camera capturing quality and it gives a breath of new life to a device like this which is the poco phone f1 and because this rom is so so important to almost each and every device i'm thinking i'll use this for a couple of days with my primary sim card in there and then maybe do a full review based on the five point rom review system let me know in the comment section if you want me to do that and subscribe and hit the notification bell icon if you haven't already let me know what do you think about this video guys until the next one this is kailash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye